everybody welcome back to the channel Shayna here um, I am filming this on the same day that I filmed my color and chat this week so um, ignore the little nail if you guys didn't watch um, my color and chat this I was lifting a bookshelf and it broke um, right in half I'm not really sure how uh, it just snapped right in the middle so I'm glad that it didn't snap at the end but <laughs> it is kind of an eyesore but I didn't have time to remove them today so just ignore that um, uh, I am here with you today guys to do the first half of our book outlet haul so I have decided to split it into two um, I've decided not to do the speedy flip throughs unless you guys request it so if you guys want to see any of these books um, by themselves in a flip through just let me know and I will just film that flip through, set it to music, pop it up on Saturday and we'll be good to go. Um, but if you guys don't comment down below, this is going to be your video to see the flip throughs. So I'm going to um, talk about and flip through each of these books. Um, I have split my book outlet haul into two videos. I think I might have just said that, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, this first set of books is mostly Zen Doodle and then I do have two um, Fantastic Beast books. I believe they're Harper Collins books. Um, <clears throat> so I do have two of those. Um, and then the second half is going to be all Deborah, Mo Deborah Muller Zen Doodle books. Oh, excuse my, excuse me, friends. I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> I had some, um, well, I still have my soda sitting here and excuse the belches. I do apologize. Um, but you you come for me and that's me um usually i just let them rip so <laughs> anyway um i will stop rambling now guys and we'll get right into this but um these are some very very cute books uh, i'm very excited to show them to you just making sure i've got them in order here um so and these might be some future giveaways um so if you guys like zen doodle let me know down below um i would love to see who my zen doodle friends are so let's go ahead and we are going to start with Garden Kitty. So I'll move the rest of these off to my left here. So this one is super cute. Um, and this one is the most likely candidate for a giveaway. Um, it is very pretty. It is just not my style so much. Um, so we'll see. If I end up coloring in it, I end up coloring in it. If not, um, it might be a future giveaway. We will see. So this is Zen Doodle Colorscapes. Um, I, I guess there's two, because the, these other books just say Zen Doodle Coloring. So, um, if I remember, oh, by the way, there will be timestamps down below for each book. I'm, I'm not sure if I said that already or not. I'm a little scatterbrained today. Um, just got a lot going on. So, um, I guess there's a difference between these Colorscape books. They are smaller than the other Zen Doodle books. They're, um, a little bit wider but they're much shorter. They're about an inch shorter and maybe a half an inch wider. Um, so not too bad there. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and dig in. This is a really cute book. Um, so it's Garden Kitties and it's illustrated by Nicolette Corley. So here's your title page. Um, these are perforated as you can see right here. I'll zoom you guys in just a tad. Whoa. Eh, that might be okay. Let me just resituate the book. So there is a perforation right here. I think you guys can see that okay. Um, the paper is nice. It is, ooh, it ripped a little bit. Um, it's a little bit thinner than these other ones. Yeah, this is definitely a thinner paper, but it's not like Amazon paper. It's slightly thicker. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. Well, it's a little bit closer to Amazon. I have another Amazon book sitting here, so I'm trying to compare the paper. It's a little bit closer to Amazon paper than it is to these other Zen Doodle books. But yeah, this is very, very um, Zen Doodle-y. It's, it's very detailed book. Um, here's your title page. Garden Kitties, Flower Loving Cats to Color and Display. And here's our first page. So they're super cute, but it's got all of this going on. And then you get these like wallpapery pages. So if this is something you like, you're gonna love this book. It's just, it's almost a little too detailed for me. This one's very pretty. 
the kitty cats, which you don't have to color every single little um, bit and bob, as our friends across the pond would say. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. There's something about this book that I'm not 100% sold on. I think I was expecting more cats, and it was it's more garden. Like, there's a lot of flower pictures. It's been like three pages now since we've seen a cat. And there's another kitties. And that's, this is cute with the little mandalas on their tummies. So. It is nice. Um, they are one-sided, which is nice. You can use your alcohol markers in here. You can use your water-based mediums. Um, I think if you use too much water, guys, this paper is going to crinkle up. Um, I know that bothers some people. It it doesn't bother me at all. I don't mind the crinkly pages, but um, that it is pretty thin paper, so it would crinkle up. Heck, even my you'll see a picture in here that I use water media on, and it's pretty crinkly, and it's I believe it's thicker paper than this. So, just a fair warning. This guy looks like a little leprechaun. Is that an apple or a heart? And it looks like both. And a heart apple. <laughs> but yeah, they are cute images. There's a lot of pages in this book. Um, there's a lot of pages in all of these books. So I'm going to try to go a little bit faster here. <laughs> it looks like a winter cat. I'm getting all stuffy all of a sudden. What the heck? It is adorable. I'm just not totally sold on all of this. But they are beautiful images. It's beautiful. It's just not necessarily my cup of tea. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know down below. <laughs> this is typical cat. Meow. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> Funny. I don't know if you guys saw... Um, if you guys watch Bibliophile Colorist, he just got a new kitty cat. Well, uh, they took her in at least. Little Juju B, she's so cute, so sweet. I do like cats, but I'm more of a dog for, oh, I like all animals. But I don't know, something about a dog. They're just so much work. If they weren't so much work, I would, I would definitely have one. But yeah, there's a lot of pages in this book. Hanging on. This looks like that poster that's in like every classroom. Hang tight or whatever it says. Hang in there. I don't know. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> Duckies. Not cute. Like these images I like. But I don't know. This Even this I like. I don't know. I don't know guys. I'm, I've got mixed feelings. There's so many pages. I'm like only halfway through this book, guys, so you are getting a bang for your buck And if you go to Book Outlet. Um, these books are big, and they are cheap. Like I said, I don't think I paid m no more than $7 for any of these books. And the $7 ones were probably the Fantastic Beast ones. All these Zen Doodle ones, I don't think I paid more than 4 maybe 5 and they run about, because I've looked on Amazon, they run about $13.99. So if you can hop on over to Book Outlet and just check out what they've got. They've got other books too, um, but these are the ones that intrigued me. And in the next set that you guys will see tomorrow, um, the Deborah Muller ones I love because I, I just love her art in general. I've got a bunch, I like her stuff on PDFs because then I can do whatever I want to it and I have more Im like I can do the same image again if I'd like so I do get her stuff on PDFs and she's coming out with a new summer book that I'm so excited about but her Zen Doodle books are super cute too and she's got Zen Doodle color by number but I should stop talking about that and spoiling the next video <laughs> but the, the, it's cute I really like her stuff this, these pages are sticking a little bit um, which is weird, but it might also just be my sweaty hands. So, but 
that's a big butterfly. Kind of looks like a moth. Freaks me out a little bit. I don't... Again, if you haven't watched my color and chat, you didn't hear the moth rant, but <clears throat> I don't like moths. They flit around and they scare me. <laughs> it's irrational, I know. It's because they can't hurt you. I just don't like them. And we've got moths the size of small bats down here, and I don't like it. <clears throat> I think some of it's the fuzzy antennas, too. <laughs> All right, we're finally nearing the end here. Oh, that one's cute. That little face. So cute, little kitty cats. They're adorable. The kitty pages are cute. They're very, very cute. So if you love cats, this book would be for you. You could always also just color the cats and give the other pages away if you'd like. You can do whatever you want, it's your book. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of that. Um, here's the back cover. Uh, more than 60 illustrations. There we go. I should have looked. I've had this book for so long and I never really looked. Perforated pages and then bring these floral felines to life with vibrant colors, shimmering pens, and even glitter. Then it tells you a little bit about the author. So that's really cool. So yeah, more than 60 images. So a lot in that book. Again, it's beautiful art. I'm just not sure it's for me. And now we have a couple of Jeanette Wummel. These are her books. I'm going to zoom you guys back out because these are bigger books. Um, and excuse the Walmart tag. This is not what I paid for it. I just can't get it off. So they're stuck on there for now until I get some goo gone. Um, these are also perforated pages. Let's go ahead and flip to the back cover. <clears throat> this one doesn't tell us how many there are, but I did count one of them, and I believe it was around 50. Um, so you are, again, getting a bang for your book, and these images are just freaking adorable. So this is all, um, this just shows different books as well. These two are Deborah Muller, and these three, I believe, are Jeanette Wommel. This looks like a Jeanette, because it matches these. Um, so I have a couple of these that I'm going to show you. Um, we're going to start with Baby Zoo Animals. Um, New York Times bestseller, that's cool. Again, I don't think I paid more than $5 for these guys, if that. <clears throat> um, so I'll link book, uh, I almost said book depository, book outlet down below. Here's your perforation. Look at the digital penguins. Oh my gosh, I love penguins. I adore these books. I have looked through these a couple of times. And I was going to color in one, but I ran out of time. Um, I did color in the Deborah Muller stained glass, which has the same paper. This paper is thicker than the last book and thicker than Amazon paper. And it is very, very thirsty. Um, it's actually kind of strange to work on. I feel like it would be very good for pencils because it is a little bit toothy, but not too bad. Um, but it is very thirsty with your markers and you it's very hard to get them unless you have a super juicy marker um it just sucks in the ink and it's very hard to get them non-streaky and you'll see that tomorrow in the next um the next set of the haul because you'll see the page that i did in deborah muller's book which has um the same paper so yeah so these are published by Oh, this one came out in 2019, that's cool. So this is a newer book. Um, Baby Zoo Animals, Castle Point Books is who publishes this and it's St. Martin's Press. I don't know if that means anything to you guys. It doesn't mean much to me. I was just curious because these then doodle books all come from the same place. So we've got some flamingos. Oh, look at the little giraffe. I love these, they are just so adorable. And these are just gonna be fun for me to straight color. I won't do anything fancy in these. This will just be a relaxing page. I'm hoping to get one of these done this month, but we'll see. I need to catch up my whips first. Is that an otter or is that a sloth? I think it's a sloth because I think he's in a tree. I don't think otters climb trees, do they? I know enough about animals, but not a ton. I love this, this is pretty. This would be fun in like 70s retro colors, that'd be cool. More flamingos. Oh, a little fox. I think it's a fox. 
cute. They're just adorable. I wasn't sure about these when I first got them. I just got them again because I had coupons and stuff. So, <clears throat> um, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know this artist, but we'll try it. And they are just super adorable. She has a baby farm animals book that I'm dying to get my hands on. So I'm hoping, cause I love, I love, love, love pigs. And there are pigs in that book and I need it. Um, but I, I've been so spoiled with book outlet that I don't want to pay the $13.99 for it. So I'm hoping that it goes to book outlet at some point. I'm checking every week. I check there at least once a week just to see if they've updated because sometimes they do. Um, they've also got a really cool Alice in Wonderland book in stock right now that I was very tempted to get, but I didn't want anything else and I didn't want to just order one book and then pay a buttload for shipping. So, which it really wasn't that much. I think it was like five or six dollars, but still I'd rather get more than one book and then not have to pay shipping but that's just me and they have reading books on there too guys so if you guys like to read which I do too but I've got plenty of books and I'm not reading at the moment so I didn't I don't want to um really indulge in that right now oh look they these are otters they're cute do you know otters hold hands when they sleep so they don't float away how adorable is that pandas Pandas. But yeah, Book Outlet is really cool. Um, I'll have to check out, people talk about Book Depository and I've never checked that out. I think it's kind of the same thing. But I should do that. Peacocks, look at their little, that's cute. Anne, this is for you. <laughs> no. Um, if you don't know Anne at A Colorful Life, she doesn't color peacocks. But this would be, I think this would be okay though. And straight coloring markers, yeah, I think it would be fine. Just pick a series of colors and alternate. My little penguins, I love penguins too. My friends used to joke, penguins, pugs, pigs, anything that starts with the letter P. Shayna likes purple, popcorn, <laughs> red pandas. I should go faster. I'm sorry guys, I like to chat. If I'm gonna do these chatty videos, I might as well chat right. Rhino, two cans. walrus <clears throat> there's the sloths so I don't know what that other one was because these have masks and he didn't is it a chimp I don't know it's okay I'm not sure what he was oh look at this little face how cute I don't know that I flipped through this whole one I like the elephants but they all have flowers I kind of wish you would have switched that up a little bit Zebra. This reminds me of the Lion King for some reason. I think it's all the pattern. More giraffes. Should give some of these images to my roommate. She loves giraffes. Kangaroos. But some of them are very zendoodly, and then you have some like this. Like this, I would do in pencil. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the next image through the paper. So it's not too, too thick. So always put something behind in these books. What are these? Sea lion? No, these are manatees. How cute. I like the hat. One of my friends is obsessed with manatees. <clears throat> Monkeys. Do you guys know the difference between an ape and a monkey? When I worked at Animal Kingdom, this was my favorite fact to tell kids. Um, but an ape uh, doesn't have a tail. And monkeys have tails. So if you ever see, like, gorillas don't have tails because they're an ape. Chimps don't have tails because they're an ape. But monkeys have tails. So just a fun little fact for you guys. If I can think of any more animal facts while we're going through these, I will. I'll let you know. This is cute. I love penguins. If you haven't seen Disney Nature Penguins, you should watch that. If you have Disney+, Plus, <clears throat> it's very cute. So some of these <clears throat> look like they were just transposed and, um redesigned but they're still cute again don't know if i color every picture i love this i love tigers this is gorgeous um in this book but they'll be fun for just like some i call it mindless coloring none of it's mindless you always are thinking when you're coloring but even in color by number but some you just don't have to think too hard on the bears so yeah, I am seeing most of these images for the first time too, guys, so <clears throat> sorry I'm going slow. But again, timestamps are down below, so if you want to skip ahead, 
go for it. If you want to fast forward this to two times, you can do that too. What are those? Antelope, maybe? Or, um, uh, I love the safari ride down here in Animal Kingdom, and this reminds me of Springbok. Anteaters! Oh, that's cool. That's very different. I really like that. This would be fun to do in, like, psychedelic colors and then keep these guys, like, black and whitish. That'd be cool. Because that's what they are. The giant anteaters are, like, black and white. And they sure are giant. They're very big. We have one of those at Animal Kingdom, too. I am so sorry. My nose is acting up and it is just itching away. First the burps, now an itchy nose. Lemurs, we have those two. They're so cute. All right, these guys look like orangutans. Maybe, maybe they're gorillas. Another kitty cat. Lion, maybe? Lionesses? Gators, crocs, actually. Their teeth are out. <clears throat> snakes. Snakes don't freak me out. I don't mind snakes. These things freak me out. They're big. They're scary. I don't like big birds. <clears throat> Penguins are flightless, so they're fine. Owls are fine for some reason. Um, but I don't, I'm not a bird person. Warthogs. <clears throat> these are, do you guys know what these are? Comment down below if you know what these are. I'm going to tell you in about 10 seconds, but these guys are called copies. And they're actually, um, they look, because they've got the striped ends like a zebra, but they're more closely related to the giraffe. I like the safari. I like a lot of, <laughs> I know a lot of facts. <laughs> look at these guys. I don't know what these guys are. They kind of look like marmosets. Ooh, deserts. We've got a lot of these guys running around in the wild here in Florida. More tigers, that's pretty. More turtles, tortoises, maybe these guys are. They look like they're on land, not in the water. Armadillos, we have these guys too. They're big, man. Armadillos are big. They're about up to my ankle. They're like the size of a small dog. <laughs> Another fun fact, do you know armadillos carry leprosy? Maybe that's not a fun fact, but it's a fact. <laughs> this looks like a fennec fox. He's cute, I love this. I should color this and send it to my friend. She loves foxes, especially, well, she loves all foxes, but <clears throat> Fenix are cute. And then this is the one from the cover. I'm not sure what that stickiness is <clears throat> that you just heard, but it happens closer to the back of the book. And <gasps> platypuses. I love platypuses. See, another P. Platyp oh my gosh, it reminds me of Perry. Do you guys watch Phineas and Ferb? I'm such a kid, but... Perry the platypus. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> I love this image. Oh, this is this is gonna be the first one. I'm gonna stick my little kitty sticker that I had in my other book in here. That's the first one. Yep, 100%. Cool. So and then again, here's your back of the book. Alrighty, friends, we'll move on to the next one. I'm so excited about the platypuses. That's so cool. So next we have baby safari or animal safari. Um, some of these I believe are gonna be similar to the. Um, <clears throat> uh, zoo book but they are different as well so it's not all the same pages let's see on the back here again perforated pages take a colorful journey to find just how relaxing coloring can be so these are aimed towards adults I believe um, but kids could color them too again same kind of paper um, title page here are more in the series, if you guys are interested, can pause and read that. Um, another title page, copyright page. This one came out in 2018. Look at the hippos. My mom loves hippos. She loves that song, I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. So, And she loves giraffes. Those are pretty. That's a pretty one. I like that better than the other giraffes, I think. So this is a little bit, ooh, truck, a little bit of a different style. Elephants, more flowers and elephants. I think that's a lion, lion cub. Cute, little Simba. Nah, it's a Benya. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little out of control today. Look at him, He's, he kind of looks, it's like alien-esque, isn't it? That's cool though, I do like it. I really like this book. 
the um, zoo animals I actually got, the baby zoo animals I got after I got this one and the next one that you guys are going to see. Because I realized how much I liked her images. Look at it's Pumba. Hyenas. They're actually much more humped than that. They have like a, a rounded neck. We have some of those on safari too. Talking like I work there. I've never worked the safari, but I would love to. A baby monkey. These are definitely crocs because they have those in Africa. Scary. We have gators. And Timon, little meerkats. Oh, I love the meerkats. We have those too in some of our walking trails in Animal Kingdom. I say we because I used to work there and I loved it so much. Vultures. I believe these are painted dogs. I think these are apes. I don't see any tails. Chimps, maybe. Tiger. You're not going to see a tiger on an African safari, but that's okay. <laughs> this looks like a springbok. I forget how high they can jump. It's like eight feet or something in the air. It's crazy. Um, this almost looks like a snow leopard, which again, you're not going to see on a safari, but that's okay. He's cute though. Water buffalo. You will see them. <laughs> like the baby. Jaguar, maybe? Cheetah? We'll say cheetah because it's a safari book. Another lion. Oh, I like this. This is a really, really pretty mandala style. Another chimp. Oh, he got a flower. How cute. Zebra. Another flowered elephant. Oh, this is pretty. This reminds me of the Lion King a lot. Such a Diz nerd, guys. Monkey. Another lion cub. Flamingos. Looks like another tiger. Ostriches. You could stand on an ostrich egg and not break it. That's how strong they are. Elefante. A rhino. Oh, he's cute. I like that. Those big eyes. Um... Some kind of bird. Not really sure. Oh, what are these? Wildebeest, maybe? No. Yes? I don't know. I'm not sure what these are. There's those birds again. They're a crested something. I don't know what they're called. Um, that's not an armadillo. What is that? Sugar. I can't think of what that... Aardvark. That's an aardvark. Oh, how cute. Some kind of, it's not an eye eye, but something like that. Bush baby, maybe. Cute. Storks. Tortoise. Oh, look at that. How sweet. He's hatching. Another, what is it? You guys know now. Okapi. I love them. They're adorable. They've got the long tongues like giraffes. Okay, that looks like maybe a gorilla. Some kind of cat. A macaw or parrot or... See, they're sticking. I guess maybe that's where the, it's not separated in the book, but I just ripped it. <laughs> not ripped it, but pulled it apart. Oh, he looks wobbly, doesn't he? Another, oh, come on. Another rhino. How sweet. More flamingos. They're more um, grown up flamingos, it looks like. Maybe those other ones weren't flamingos. Oh, look at the hippo. Look how happy he is. Hippos are actually very dangerous. Chameleon of some sort. That'd be fun to do them uh, contrasting colors. Maybe not red and green, but something like that. Woodpeckers. We've got some of those around here. Oh, little tiny giraffe. We've had a couple of giraffes born in Animal Kingdom. Hatching ostrich. That one's cool. I like that image. I guess I haven't looked through all of these either. 
kind of looks like a lemur, I'm not sure. Another tiger, maybe. He's chubby. He's cute. I don't know what this is. Mousy kind of thing. Huh. Not sure what that is either. I would kind of wish that they told us what they were, but regardless, they're cute little animals. Another lion. <clears throat> Maybe all of the cats are lions. I'm not sure because it's hard to tell with like the stripes and stuff, but some of them definitely have different face shapes. Birdos of some sort. They look like sparrows. <laughs> Lizards. Maybe Komodo dragons. No, they're in Asia. Never mind. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a lynx. Toucanish birds. Maybe they're Zazu birds. I'm not sure what he is, but that's kind of what they look like. And that's the end of that one. There's your back. So now we have one more baby animals book. And this is baby forest animals. How cute, foxies. So same thing, just gonna check the back. Yep, oh, here are more than 60 illustrations of baby animals for you to color. So they must all have more than 60 images, which is pretty cool. It's a good um, bang for your buck. Not sure if my roommate's gonna come out here or not, but if she does, that's fine. Look at the chipmunk. I was gonna say something, but I'm not, cause that's sad, so I won't say it. Bunnies. Oh, look at the first page, it's a little skunk. I really love this one. The forest animals are just really cute. Squirrels. More skunks. Skunks are cute until, just don't sneak up on them. I forget who I was watching, I think it was Rachel Ray. And it was like, um, she was doing trivia and she was like, in Minnesota, it's illegal to sneak up on what, or to tease what animal, and it was a skunk. And I was like, who would want to tease a skunk? That's a bad idea. <laughs> but anyway, owls, more little hoot hoots. Oh, they're cute. They'd be fun to do in like green, pink, and purple, I think. Bun buns. Oh, I, I do like this one. I think this is my favorite. I think those are just a different kind of squirrel. Foxes, this is the cover image. More squirrels. Oh, look at the deer, she's gorgeous. Oh, this one would be really fun. Yeah, this one's definitely my favorite. You can see how her artwork has changed. I don't know, when was this one published? Sorry guys. 2019 as well. Another fox, that's cute. Raccoonies. They're adorable until they get in your trash. Trash pandas, little bear. Watched a video of a bear at a public pool the other day. It was cute. He would sneak in at night. Give a little hedgehog. My roommate and I are currently obsessed with hedgehogs. Deer. A moose. I love moose. Moose. <laughs> no, I know it's moose. Birdies color them any kind of bird you'd like. Another fox. That one's really pretty. Look at those eyes. They're gorgeous. Snails. Oh my gosh, they're cute. We have little snail friends around here when it rains. Deer, deer. More raccoons. Very different style she has in some of these. It's cool. More birdies. They'd be cool as um robins. Nice. Forest mice, hummingbirds, they're pretty. They, I like to do hummingbirds in really bright colors. Frogs, again, I, when I see more than one, I wanna do them in all different colors. Because who says it has to be realistic? It can be if you want it to be, but it definitely doesn't have to be. More skunks, and more bunnies. Oh look, bats, fruit bats. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, chipmunks. Alice in Wonderland popped in my head when the little dormouse is like, wolf, um, twinkle, twinkle, little bat. 
tortoises or turtles. Oh, and these these might be geese with the black or um with that little ring. These are geese and goslings. Ganders? No, what are they called? Or no, swan, baby swan is a signet. Woodpeckers. We have those around here too. Possums. Why did they make them so cute? They're not real cute in real life, I don't think. These almost look like salamanders rather than lizards. A lynx. Duckies. How cute. Porcupines. <laughs> that didn't come out right. <laughs> Porcupines. Wild hogs. They're dangerous too. Don't mess with wild hogs, people. Snakes. I flip that one pretty quick because I know some of you guys don't like snakes. These look like um badgers. Oh, more possums. That is just adorable. This one I believe is in the front. Not on the front, but in the front. More hoot hoots. More owls. They're adorable. <laughs> a bear with a teddy bear. That's cute. He's hibernating. Chameleons. We saw some of those in the safari book, I believe. These look like chickadees. This one would be pretty. Yellows and reds and greens. Otters. More otters. Beaver. <laughs> That's cute. I think this might be a wolf of some sort. More porcupines. I think these are eagles. <clears throat> Pretty. Turtles of some sort. Ferret or a weasel, I think. Oh, cute little buns. There's not as many bunnies in here as I thought. Lots of squirrels, but not so many bunnies. This definitely looks like uh, Canadian geese. Blue jays. But again, you could do them any color you want. Another little fox. Jeanette must like foxes. Oh, look at the moles. That's cute. And we're almost done here. Another mouse. And that's the end. And there's your back cover. So very, very, very cute. I really love her style. And again, I would really love to have the farm animals book. So next we have, it's another Zen Doodle. Again, most of these are Zen Doodles. Um, and sorry, getting comfortable in the chair here. Uh, we have Fantastic Creatures, Majestic Beings to Color and Display, but this one is by Antonia Cardella, An Antonia Cardella, um, and it is, I haven't actually looked through this book, um, but it is, again, the same paper. Um, there's a little snippet back here about her, and then perforated pages, relax and enjoy, doesn't tell us, oh here, more than 60 delightful pieces of art. Let me see if it says that in all of them. It does. Wow, I am oblivious. It says that on all of these guys. I am, I didn't do enough research before I filmed this video, but so more than 60 images in each of these books, guys. And again, no more than $5, no way. I'll have to check for you, but you can also, when I link down below, it'll, most of these books are still available. Um, not all of them, but most of them are. Um, so you can see for yourself. This unicorn has a beard. That's kind of funny. So here we go, fantastic creatures. Got a, I think these are called, um, hip, not hippogriffs, hip, something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they are. Wolf, maybe this is a werewolf. This one was published in 2017 or copyrighted 2017. This looks like Cheshire from Alice in Wonderland. That's probably how I'm gonna color him. Red, or uh, purple and pink. This looks like the tree people from Lord of the Rings. I haven't actually looked through this book at all. I 
and excuse me for not being up on mythology i'm not sure what all these creatures are like i don't know what this is i've seen them before but i don't i can't i couldn't tell you what the what he is that's pretty detailed centaur i think is the half horse half man this is a chinese dragon that's cool these images are neat <laughs> goblins or elves or fey people of some sort i don't know if you guys can see that let's zoom you in a little tiny bit Yeah, now you can see them. I just don't want to um, cut off the pages. Hydra. This is a hippogriff, right? Buckbeak from Harry Potter. So these are really detailed. And unicorn. He's got a beard too. Interesting. Perry. These are, these are um, interesting images. There's another one. Another fairy. These are pretty, I like the fairy pictures. The unicorns, I'm not digging with the beard. I can't remember what these things are called. The half horse, half fish. Or them. <clears throat> oh, no idea what that is. That looks like a dragon goat. <laughs> no idea. But that's what's kind of fun about these fantasy books is that you can color them whatever you want. This looks like a seahorse of some kind. Kraken, because he's got the boat, so he's massive, not just an octopus. This, he has a name too. This is, um,. There's an image like this in one of Kirby Rosanis' books. The new one, I think. World Within Worlds. That must be something from mythology. Siren, aka Mermaid, or Mermaid, aka Siren. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, this unicorn doesn't, or no, is this a... I don't know. Maybe this is a Pegasus? I'm not sure. Oh, that's part of the wing. Okay, I see. Yeah, this must be a Pegasus, because there's no horn. Snail with a saddle on it. I'm not sure how much I like these. Um, again, it's just not very much my style. Puss in Boots. That one's cute. Some of them I like. This dragon's cool. But again, I bought this one because... Um, I just wanted to see her st art style. I'm not sure what that looks like a water dragon of some sort. No idea what that's called, but I do, I really like that. That is beautiful. Yeah, not, not digging the beard on the unicorns. The tree person, maybe Mother Earth. Phoenix. That would just all be flame, I guess. Is that a flying fish? It is. He's in the clouds. Blowing bubbles. <laughs> okay, this is a buck beak. I don't, I'm not sure. No idea what these goat things are. I don't have any clue. And that could be why I'm not feeling this book so much. I thought it was gonna be like unicorns and things that I know. A giant owl. He like took a piece of the building. Sheesh. That's pretty though. Oh, Sphinx cat. Naked mole cats, as I call them. <laughs> I should know the name of this. I've seen it in something. But it's a chicken snake dragon thing. It's very strange, but I should know that. The name of that. Yeah, I'm not sure. How do you guys like this book? I like her art. It's stunning. I just don't know that I'll color it. This is a kitsune. I know that because Mrs. Coffee just did, well, not just, but somewhat recently, did a diamond painting of the nine-tailed fox kitsune. That is a frog with wings. Okay. Interesting. Flying pig. I like this one. 
There's definitely some in here I would color. I would color this. Mermaid. Fairy. I like the fairy pictures a lot. This one's cool. Pegasus. I would probably just straight color all of that, though. Yeah, some of them I like and some of them I'm, I'm not such a fan of. Fire horse. What is this? This is um, what Phil is, right? From Hercules? Can't think of what they're called, though. And they're in Percy. He's in um, Percy's best friend and Percy Jackson, too, also. Can't remember. I also can't remember from Fantastic Beasts what most of the creatures are, so bear with me on that, too. You guys can feel free to post them down below. Horsey. Fish. I wish I could remember what that's called. This looks like the Mad um, March Hare from Matt, uh, Harry Potter. Alice in Wonderland. I will probably color him. Because again, Alice in Wonderland. Now this is cute. Don't know what these are at all. But they cut. Are they. Is this a pun? Are these dragonflies? Because that's funny. I hope it is. I'm. That's what they're gonna be to me. They're gonna be dragonflies. See this this weird angle. I'm not a fan of. I don't even know what that is. Mercat. I love mercats. Bearded unicorn again. I do like this though. Oh my goodness! Look at him. Oh, I kind of want that as a tattoo. That is so cute. So cute. Yeah, I'll definitely be coloring some of these. Oh, it's a Cerberus. It's a Fluffy. How cute. And I think this is, he's got a horn and wings, so that must be an alicorn. Learned that from another channel. Not sure what this is. Bat cat, dragon cat. I do like the um, stars though. I like the ones at the back of the book much more. This is another phoenix. More fairies. Yeah, I'll definitely color like the fairy pictures. Ooh, that's detailed, holy moly. But that's cool, that would be a lot of fun. This would be fun to actually sit and do different colors in, of swirls on him or her. <laughs> and there we go, that's the end of that one. So yeah, I, um. Again, same paper, same size. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to sit and look through this one again. I do like some of them, like that's pretty. This mermaid's really pretty. That's cool. There's just some that I'm not a fan of and it's like that, like that I'll never color. This I probably wouldn't color. I don't know. I do like it though. Her images are gorgeous. It's just some of it I probably wouldn't color. So we'll see if I get around to it. Um, I'll color it. If not, then maybe it'll be a giveaway. And now we're going to move on to the Fantastic Beast books. So I do have two of them, but they are different. Um, these were more expensive on Book Depository, but not as expensive as you would get them, like, normally priced. Let's zoom out all the way, because these books are pretty big. Um, that's, yeah, because these are pretty standard books. Um, this one's a little bit bigger. So, um, I guess we'll go ahead and start with this one. Um, so this top one actually came in the plastic, and I'm going to insert a video here so that you can see that I'm not lying. Alright, so now that we're back, um, yeah, this one came in the plastic, which I was... Um, shocked about I was like wow this is this is new but I had to look through it a little bit first um, so I took it out of the plastic um, I opened it mainly because of the Harry Potter color along I wanted to decide between the two books what I wanted to color so I did open it but and I've only really looked through it once one second gonna grab a sip here I've been talking a lot over the last two hours so this one is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Magical Characters and Places coloring book. And this one is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Magical Creatures coloring book. So these are very, um, 
a lot of the pop culture books, I like to call them, um, that are movies and stuff, like a lot of the Harry Potter coloring books are like this. A lot of the, I think there's a Lord of the Rings one. I know there's a Doctor Who one, there's a Sherlock one that's on um, Book Deposit, or oh, there we go again, uh, Book Outlet that um, is a Sherlock one. Um, and they're very much in this style. So I don't think it's sites, but I do like that they give you reference pictures over here from the movies. Eddie Redmayne is so cute. So that's another reason I got this. <laughs> no, I'm teasing, but not bad to look at. So that's cool. Um, and then cover page. I don't think it cites an author. It just says Harper Design, an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. This one, oh, was released in 2016. Interesting. When did the movie come out? I didn't think it came out then. I thought it was 2017 or 18. I guess I'm wrong. So here's the front page of him in the, not the ministry, but um, I guess the Magical Congress. I don't remember. So here we go, here's an introduction. Um, I'll just read this quick. New York, 1926, this is a whole new era of the Wizarding World, but like nothing you've ever imagined. Join Newt Scarmander as he walks down the steam-filled streets of this thriving metropolis that pulses to the beat of the Jazz Age and discover that out of sight of every muggle or nomad, as they are known in America, there is another world running parallel to theirs, a secret world where magic is real. Um, and then it kind of goes into the story, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but, uh, in case you haven't seen the movies, I guess. I've only seen them, I've seen the first one twice, the second one once, but I didn't follow it very well, so I have to watch it again. So, yeah. And then there's the, the lever. So there's a lot of these wallpapery pictures. Let's see if you guys in just a teeny tad. hard with this book because it's such a big book. But yeah, there's a lot of these wallpapery pages that I probably won't color, but that leaves the possibility of using water-based or alcohol-based markers and stuff. So. so there he is. Really, really good rendition. I really like that. This will also give me a chance to practice um, pale skin tones try out some different ones. New York landscape. Not sure if I would color this either, but I just, I really, for these, this is more a collector thing for me because I love Harry Potter and um, Wizarding World. So, but I wish that they were single-sided. Muggle-worthy. There's, um, can't remember what he's called, but the little, or is that, I don't remember what's in there. This is his suitcase. Muggle-fied. Try to get both images in here. These double-page spreads are um, hard to get in the camera. Move it around a little bit. There we go. Now you can see both pages. Another wallpaper and then Jacob. The, I'm such a fake fan. I can't remember their names. State Building, it looks like. Magical Congress, that's what it is. I was talking in the Harry Potter color thon this past weekend about, <laughs> I was like, what kind of word is nomad? Like, that's so boring. Muggle is so much better. I like this one a lot. The images of just them are really stunning. Jacob. <laughs> Would you like some hot chocolate, Mr. Scamander? Cassandra and her cat, Gustavus. <laughs> what? That's funny. I'll have to look for that in the movie next time I watch it. And then his love interest. Lottie? I don't... I can't remember their names, guys. I'm so sorry. Let me know down below. Trying to get back in the frame here. This is cool. That'd be real quick and easy and fun. But yeah, these um, would take me a very long time. Because I would want to do a good job. But I really, again, just like having the art. 
from one of my favorite franchises. Again, won't get into the whole JK thing right now, but this one's really, really nice. They're not quite grayscale, but um, they have nice guidelines on their faces for shading and stuff, I think. At least for me, who's a newbie at, <clears throat> at all that. Again, these I wouldn't color. Maybe gel pens on something like this, but. <clears throat> now this, I didn't notice until now. Looks like, because <clears throat> I was looking at one of the other pictures as we were flipping, and I was like, what are these dots? This looks like a trace in color. So you would trace these first. Well, you wouldn't have to, but you could trace this first. Or is it because there's smoke? Now this I'm not sure about, but this, hmm. I'm trying to think of the scene in the movie and I can't remember it. What I would do is I would trace this and then color it in. So up to you, your coloring book, but that's probably what I would do. There's, um can't remember his name in the movie, but he's secretly, well, I guess I shouldn't say it. Never mind. <laughs> Just in case. Won't spoil anything. But Colin Farrell. There we go. We'll leave it at that. And then this is the, um, I guess, president of the um, Wizarding World in America. I forget what they call her. Congresswoman, or if they call her president. Newt. This is him making some kind of food or something, I don't remember. These images look even better on camera. I really like her. There's more dots. That looks intentional. I'm gonna keep an eye out for those pages. I didn't notice them in the other book. There's lots of double page spreads in here, which is kind of intimidating, actually very intimidating. Wands, this is cool. But there's so many reference images, guys, that you could um, easily freeze frame the movie or, or whatever you wanted to do, or just color however you want, doesn't have to be realistic. Just for me as a fan, I don't know. That's the way that I'm leaning. This one's cool. Shaw. Ugh, makes me cringe. Makes me think about the real world. <laughs> so a lot of these double page spreads, I guess that's why there's so much um, wallpapery stuff, so that you can do whatever you want if you don't want to color this. The trunk. Wow. I don't know, the, the likenesses are just pretty remarkable. These artists are very good. Unless they just, I wonder, if they just somehow break down the image to just line art. Oh, sorry. That one's really, that one's one of my favorites. The Empire State Building kind of thing. Bots, Bosterfin Magic. I don't know, that must be a different language. It's not English. Look at the teapots. Now that I would want to color. Let's see what's on the other side. Yeah, I'd be more inclined to color this than to color this double page spread because look at ugh, all that brick. Oh my gosh. I'll have to look up um, some people on some, like this book on Instagram and see what people have done. I can't remember what this thing is called, but he's scary. And he's also kind of like a flying fox, but he's a good guy. It's just a little bit scary. <laughs> and then the thing that I call the slow loris, but it's not. I think that's his hands. And then more images on the back here, which I really like. I like this image in this book of him standing there. I was gonna color that for the color of thon but decided on a different page. And then again, you have a little synopsis back. Tina and Queenie, there we go. I couldn't remember their names, goodness. So there's the back. And we've got only one more book to go, guys. This video is a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be, so that's good. 
So we've got the Magical Creatures book, and I have done an image in here. Um, again, oh no, this was the image of him that I was gonna do, it's in this book. I love that, I don't know why. It's just very commanding, and I like this Christmas image as well. So. Little goat things with webbed feet. I don't, I don't remember what any of the creatures are called hardly. I know one, the one that I colored. This guy's a niffler. <laughs> this looks like a hippogriff. But I don't think it is, it's something else. And it's different because he's got multiple wings. And these guys are freaky. But yeah. And then another little synopsis over here. Not sure how many pages are in these books. Um, this is definitely a cardstock. It's pretty smooth, but you can use your pencils in it. Um, I use pencils. Um, I use my watercolor pencils, which you'll see, but it's it's very nice paper. This guy, this rhino, uh, rhino-like thing, tries to go after New or uh, after Jacob. More wallpapery stuff. So again, more scenes as well, which is cool. No idea what this is, but it looks like a hydra. Look at all those heads. This also reminds me of the picture in Kirby's book with the dragon eye. Um, John did an acrylic wash of it and then colored, shaded over it. So that's, I just see him in red. I know there's an image in the front, but just see him in red and black. Tina. And this is the guy that I was saying. Reminds me of a slow loris. I don't know what he is though. Can't remember. Goblin. Queenie, that's her name. I love this image of her. I would color that. Yeah, this book is much more my style um, for coloring. But this is the evil, evilish lady. Well, she's pretty evil in my eyes, but I don't know what this is. Looks like a naked mole rat. And then you can see the splatter over here from the image that I did. And I you can see the crinkle, because I did use watercolor pencils. And I did a Niffler. And I am very proud of him. I very much enjoy him, because I did him all in watercolor pencils, and then this is oil pastel, which I need to spray with fixative. That's why this Dobby picture's in here, because this was an oopsie, and I just didn't want the oil pastel getting on the next page more than it already has. So this is not part of the book, guys. This is just a cover page for him. But yeah, I really love, love, love how he came out. Because that was a total experiment. So I did get oil pastels all over the side here, but I can always black that out if I do do this page. But I don't know that I will. And then here's the Christmas double page spread. I mean, it, it's not technically Christmas. They're hiding, but still bug thing, scary bug thing, the president type lady, I, don't, I can't remember what they call her, this is cool, so yeah, just kind of more of the same images from the movies, more from the, well really from the first movie, I would probably color this one because it's got more nifflers and I love the nifflers. Love this image. Probably wouldn't color this again with all the backdrop, but yeah, these images are definitely from the first movie. Wouldn't color this one. All the bugs. But look at the owl thing, he's cool. Lots of detail, Jacob. So I don't see, it must be smoke then in that other image because this is all smoke. So it must just be giving you a guideline. Interesting. Bowtruckle, can't remember his name though. It's his best friend, Newt is Newt. Oh, dung beetle thing. John Voight, <laughs> can't remember his name in the movie but that's who plays him. 
This guy plays a big part too. I can't remember what it's called. Any of them. So if you guys know, let me know down below. I love this. I probably would color this just simply for that. Oh, sorry guys. When I stare at books for too long, I get kind of tired. But I've got one more video to film and then I'm done for the day. Got the second part of this, which will be fun because those are the Deborah Muller images. So yeah, more wallpaper, another big city landscape. I don't remember what this thing is either. It's like a calendar. Ugh, this guy creeps me out. I want to do him in like green though. Like neon colors. Yeah, I really like the ones with the characters. And of course the creatures. Billy Wig stings, it says. That's that's not safe, Newt. <laughs> and then there's the flying fox. He like throws it out, I don't know. Flying fox thingy. And the egg. It's that, um, basil, is that a basilisk? No, because it has wings. I don't remember what they call it. But it changes shape based on its surroundings. And then this guy reminds me of something out of Avatar. The James Cameron movie. And then the big goblin image, which this is cool, but I'd have to definitely use the reference photo for that. More wallpaper pages. And then this is my favorite image in the book of Newt. It's really cool. I will definitely, this might be the next one that I do in one of these books, which I don't know when that would be, but there he is, that guy. is the one that changes shape. I think that's what hatches out of the egg. So yeah, then you've got the colored images that you can reference, which is really cool. So yeah, and then again, another little um, synopsis here on the back. So we have the two Fantastic Beasts. We've got all of our baby animals books and we have garden kitties. So let me just try to get all these. Let's zoom out all the way. Zoom out all the way. Is it zoomed out? No. What is wrong with, what is up here? There we go, now it is. I guess it was zoomed out all the way, interesting. Another baby animals and then garden kitties. So we've got all of these books here, guys. We got through it. Um, again, timestamps will be down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these flip throughs in this haul. Um, part two is coming up on Friday, or no. When will it be coming up? <laughs> no, you guys will see this part two the next day. Whenever I post this, the next day will be part two. So you'll see that tomorrow, and that'll be all the Deborah Muller books. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Love ya. Bye.